checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. I'm going to do an update on Caspa or Cas and also Nexat. Two tokens or coins, sorry, coins, okay? People in the comments section want me to be clear about the fact that Caspa at least is a coin, okay? It has its own blockchain or block DAG. It is not a token, which would be something built on top of one of these layers okay guys this is a coin so cas is going absolutely to the moon we're going to look at the chart and give you a potential short-term price target for this next push up okay guys and nexa another one that is going absolutely nuts okay guys talked about these tokens or coins coins talked about these coins just in the past couple of days and weeks okay guys and they're going absolutely crazy where not everything is performing like this not everything is performing like this so finding these gems super early taking advantage of them while they're low cap okay guys what is the potential for these in the bull run okay guys so casper okay you can see blue sky breakout just like we talked about broke through this level and we've come up if we lower the time frame okay guys in the previous video i took some profits over here um in the previous video to the previous video i took some profits over here i explained that in the last video and i actually bought uh my position back and managed to keep the profits and get my actual bag back and since then we've seen more upside okay guys now if we go on to the one hour uh you will see um the reasons why i've held this bought back in okay it's the first kind of real sell-off that we've seen in this particular project okay guys and it's not a huge sell-off okay guys it had a 35 percent dip um if you look if you go back on the chart you will see 50 percent dips on this particular project okay guys so you're never going to be able to time the top or time the bottom um you know with precisely okay but a lot of time if you see a blow off top a huge candle that looks unnatural if you go on a four hour for example, the first unnatural candle looks so much way bigger than these. You are bound to get profit takers because there are whales um, holding a lot of cash back. Okay, some people are going to take some profits. But then when you see a huge dump, you're probably going to see a nice week. You're going to see the same thing in the other direction. So that's why I bought back into I took profits. Okay, bought back in. And that was a good move on my part. I don't recommend everybody do that sort of thing. Okay, guys, because I do believe that this is a long term project. But if you look at the chart setup right now, you can see if we get a drawing tool on MEXC. Um, where's the drawing tool? Let's use this, okay? So you can see this cup and handle, okay, guys? And uh, yeah, after that cup and handle, we can see that the chart has broken out, all right, guys? And right now, we are seeing it flagging, okay? Now, um, if you do a measured move, okay, from the bottom of the cup to the top of the cup um you will see that this move potentially isn't finished yet all right guys so which makes sense about out of the fact that it's flagging right now so potential target could be up here we get a little move to the upside ball flag and then a continuation to this point right here about 0 0.04 and a half cents right now we're seeing at four sense okay guys so if we do a second target if we go from the bottom of the flag okay from the bottom of the flag if we go from the breakout of the flag okay so we go from the bottom of the flag to the top of the flag and we move that over here over here like that okay we could say potentially okay there's two levels of potential target. We could say over here about four and a half cents or just slightly above about four, uh, four uh, and uh, just over four and a half cents, 0 0.046 cents. So we're looking at around this range for a potential profit taking scenario. So we're looking approximately another 10 to 15 percent. All right, guys. So. I think that there's a uh, potential for this to continue up over the weekend, even before uh, we reach the end of the weekend, going into Monday. And uh, you may see some profit taking, potentially. Or it could just continue up. Now, one thing I haven't done, and we will do it for the sake of the video, um, recently is a uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement 
Uh, so let's get the Fibonacci tool up and uh, let's see if any of those targets match up. Okay, guys. So if we go from the top of the previous move to the bottom of the previous move, around four and a half cents is at the 0 0.6 or the 1.618 level. Okay, guys. So yeah, that confirms once again that this could be a potential target before we see any resistance or any kind of profit taken on this move. All right, guys. So that actually matches up. You can see how TA is helpful in these particular plays and of course if we look it could just if it breaks straight through the 618 obviously you can see the targets we have we have six cents we have seven and a half cents and then we have eight and a half cents almost okay guys uh, overall these are short-term fibonacci moves okay guys but yeah there's potential for that before we see a pull off uh, a pullback to the 618 level at around four and a half cents for 0 .0, uh, 0 0.046 cents okay guys so super bullish on this project okay guys and um, lots of reasons to be bullish if you haven't seen my previous videos on this project go and check it out but um should you be buying it at this level me personally i would say you're waiting for a pullback at this stage okay this could pull all the way back down to the support level at about one and a half cents okay guys so that has to be said and um you know if i do scale out okay guys remember the bag that i'm sitting on right now is all house money and it's a very large bag it's a decent bag okay it's not a super whale bag but um there's no risk to me at all okay it's all profit what what i'm holding in this particular project okay guys uh so anyway um if this goes up to the four and a half four point six uh, 0 0.046 four and a half cents around that mark you know i may potentially scale out maybe 25 percent um, and if it comes back down i'll be able to get 25 percent more tokens okay guys and if not uh is profit anyway or i'm buying back whole uh higher uh but if i see a larger move after that as well again i scale a little bit out and i try and get some back lower potentially okay guys but i want to be holding on to some of this long term indefinitely that is the aim of the game. All right, guys. And uh, of course, this is crypto, so things can change. Um, a long-term strategy can very quickly become a short-term strategy because this is crypto and the multipliers are huge. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you that little breakdown on my views on Casper or CAS. Looking at Nexa, I don't have any short-term plans to trade this. Okay, guys, when you look at the market cap for this, which we're not going to do on Casper. Casper, you know, we know it's much higher okay but um with nexa let's just have a look at where the market cap has reached on nexa now sitting at about 63 million in market cap so this is still under 100 million whereas casper is like over i think casper may have reached over uh 500 million by now let's just actually do a quick yeah 730 million almost a billion market cap that's crazy guys so nexa um if you haven't seen my previous video on nexa super bullish but you can see Breakout, we are on a one-day chart. Let's go down four hour. You see it's starting to lose a little bit of strength over here, okay? But we have had a massive move. I showed you guys in a previous video where I got in on this bull flag over here and it's been continuing to the upside. So this could be a good time to be taking profits on this particular project to try and get some a little bit lower, which you can obviously uh, do a Fibonacci retracement to find some targets. Let's just do that although like i said i don't intend to do anything okay i just intend to hold this at the stage where it's at until still it starts getting too much higher uh numbers okay guys so if we do uh, uh, assuming that this is the top of this move it looks like it is losing some steam okay guys so uh let's just go from top to bottom okay guys so uh yeah you could potentially be scaling out a little bit over here and then trying to kind of get some back at this level over here at the 0.618 level at around 0 0.0 four zeros and two two cents which is not much of a pullback is it really worth trading okay that's the whole point right is it really worth trading um for a potential 25 percent pullback i'd rather rather than trading i'd rather just buy more on the dip okay guys but i just thought i'd give you that as you can see, there's two projects in uh, on MEXC exchange that you can take advantage of now. Very good exchange, uh, very quick with listing, 
coins are right guys or tokens even right and um you know getting them here before they get to binance before they get to qcoin before they get to huobi gate.io things like that uh money there's money to be made all right guys so just wanted to give you that quick update video nexa super bullish on that like i said holding it not doing anything with it cast um, my recommendation is and it's not financial advice of course do your own research though it's more than what you can afford to lose but my recommendation is getting some of this in your portfolio for the long term okay guys especially if you see a dip that would be the best time to get into this and uh, that being said when you get these dips it doesn't necessarily mean you wait all the way down to the uh the the, the target right you could be scaling in dollar cost averaging in and um by the time it starts to move again um and it's almost it's almost when you see something like this going absolutely crazy and nothing else going it's almost guaranteed that fomo is going to come because everyone's looking for the next gem all right guys so you know i think that you know a pullback on this is not going to be it's going to be very short-lived and we're going to see more upside all right guys so let me know what you think in the comments. Are you bullish on Casper? Maybe you're bullish on Nexa. Are you holding it? Let me know what you think in the comments. That being said, it's the end of the video. Sub subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor and like the video. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.